Hey, this is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to do part two of my M Drummer walkthrough. If you haven't checked out part one, definitely go check that out. But today I'm going to show you how you can use the rhythm generator, the rhythm editor, and the drum set editor to craft your own sounds, import your own samples, or even play M Drummer using a MIDI keyboard. So let's get started. So I thought today we'd do kind of a like a hip hop beat. So let me go in here and just click electronic urban. Let's try trap seven. That seems pretty good. So load that up. Let me turn the volume down so it's not too loud. And of course, just like in part one, I could load up one of these rhythms, but you're probably thinking, what if I want to control this by my MIDI keyboard? Click here where it says switch to drum pad mode. And now you can control it using your MIDI keyboard, which I have here. So I'm controlling everything using my MIDI keyboard. And so all your inputs now will just control this. So if you want to listen to different uh, kits, you can control them that way. So let's try it. Let's stick with Trap 7. Uh, that one seems the best so far. So now let's go to the rhythm, edit, rhythm Generator, I should say. The Rhythm Generator is where we can create our own rhythms and uh, like create variations with it. So click here. Now you see here, it's like a step sequencer, which is really easy to work with, I'm sure, if you've used this before. And so there's a slight difference, but let's go over those uh, later. So. I want a two bar pattern. This is just one bar. So by clicking one of these arrows, I can create a two bar pattern. Now, what I want to do from here is just put in my own uh, bass drum and snare drum pattern. Of course, I can just write it here if I want to, but let's record it. So click functions. First thing I want to do is turn off record replace. That's just because if you want to record just the bass drum part and then record the snare drum part, if you have this on, it'll erase everything you did before. So I'm going to turn this off so I can kind of layer the drums up as far as recording goes, that is. Uh, next, let's change it to like 140. And from here, let's get started. So just click record and it'll play a metronome and then let's try to you know, add our beat in there. Okay, that's what we have. This one is a little bit too early, so I'm just gonna erase that. If I go to this pin here, and I right click, it'll erase it. Let's hear what we have. Uh, it's going to play with some different uh, hi-hats over the top, but that's okay. Okay, so my rhythms are kind of off. So if I just click this pointer again, highlight everything, and then click this, it'll quantize everything for me. Okay, now let's hear it. So that's close to what I want, but there's still a few things that I want to change. So you heard here it's using a ride symbol. I don't want that. Let's go to hip hop up here. And there's a bunch of different patterns we can use. Let's try empty one. Let's see what this sounds like. For this, I just want to stick to simple one because I want to add my own stuff in there later. But if you'll notice the level here, as I change this, it will actually change through different hi-hat rhythms and cymbal rhythms. So if you remember from my previous video, they had the different buttons from the quick setup for the verse one, verse two, and chorus. 
These are all coming from the different levels and I'll show you where they actually come from in a second. So once you have whichever pattern you like, just click generate all and it's going to generate all these different rhythmic variations for us. Okay, you probably wonder like, what did that do? It seemed like it was processing something. But now let's go to the rhythm editor. Now this is where all those things come from. So let's go into beat. So this should be what we heard before. So let's try this variation. Let's play it. So as you heard, this is similar to what we had before, but let's change some things. I want this to be more like a trap beat, so I want some of those fast triplet rolls. So in here, we can add some. Uh, let's add one here for, actually, let's add a slow one here. So I'm going to erase this by right-clicking it, erase this hi-hat, and now here, you see where it looks like a 16th note. If I click it here, you see lots of different variations. So let's try just this, the triplet. I think there's a quarter note triplet. And if you think, ah, it's too small, click this and move your mouse up and you can make it larger. So let's try something like this. Let's hear how it sounds. So I like that, but Let's do a little bit more. I want a few more variations. So instead of this, let's click here. Now we have the 16th note triplets. Let's try this. I like that. Let's add a few more some other places. See how they sound. Uh, oh, turn that down by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's try a few more in here. Let's try some slower ones at the end. And as you see down here, I'm adjusting the velocity of these, so they're not all the same level. Uh, let's try some fast here. Let's hear how this sounds. So that's basically what I want. I'd probably spend a little bit more time doing this, but I think for the most part, this is okay. And now what I would do from here is, let's say I want something similar for the other beats. They're a little bit too simple. So let's say on this one, I want something similar, but not exactly the same. I can click this, the pointer button. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I can double click hi-hat and it highlights everything there. Make sure this arrow is right at the beginning and click the copy button here. Now when I go to beat, double click hi-hat and just hit delete, delete everything, now paste it. I have the same thing from here in this beat. Now I probably want to simplify this uh, a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just take out a few things that seem a little bit too busy. So for example, I might think this is a little bit too much. So I'll go back to the pin here and I might add, I'll just leave that out actually. Leave this out, maybe add a slight variation there. This and just maybe one that's really soft there. And let's see how this sounds. And then when things start heating up, I'll go to this one, which is a little bit more busy. And I could also do other things if I wanted to add like a, a shaker or some other hit. I could right click here and just choose insert track and I can add, you know, whatever I want. Let's say like a hand clap if I want a hand clap. So just add this here.
That's just an example. That's a little bit too loud. And actually, the snare drum sounds like a hand clap. So let's go in and change that. So let me show you how you can edit this drum set. Go to the drum set editor now. And now let's change that snare drum. So you see here, we have all of the different drums. So hit that and we can push this speaker icon and hear what it sounds like. Same thing for the drum. And that sounds like a clap to me. Let's look here in layer generators, layers and generators. Now you see it is actually a clap. So let's change that. Now there's a few things I could do. I could search through here for different types of synthetic snares. There's quite a few here. But let's say uh, I have a sample that I like and I don't want to do that. All I have to do is go to global and then search my hard drive or there's actually an even easier way. Just pull it up in a window and then, uh, ah, here's the one I want, snare soft, like an 808 snare. I just drag it over here to this window and it loads up. There's a little bit of a gap here, so let's move the start time like that and let's listen to it. That's good. And now let's do a few other things. I think this is good, but I kind of want a layer. What I want is a, a, a clap sound, but I want it to be really short, layered with this. So here where it says velocity layers, just open this up, click this plus sign. Now choose any kind of clap sound I want. Let's try, I don't know, techno clap two. Click this arrow so I can hear what this sounds like the play button. That's okay. Now let me just shorten it. So here where you see the envelope, I can do that and I can double click here. And this just shortens up the volume envelope to make it a little bit tighter. That's pretty good. I might want to increase the volume a little bit. Now, if I click all, this top layer of the snare and the clap will play together. Let me move this up a little bit more. All. A little bit more. Now let's hear what they sounded like separately. Together. Just added a little bit of a transient. So I can make this a little bit longer. And this one I think is also just a bit too long. Let's make it a little bit tighter. Like this. And if I think, ah, it's, I don't want them right on top of each other, I can delay this so there's just a little bit of space between the transients, like this. That's what I want. Now let's try to add some effects to this. So as I showed in a previous video, you can use a frequency shifter to change the sound and tuning of something. So what I want to do is just find this frequency shifter here. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play that loop I just had by pressing F10 on my keyboard and I'm going to solo the snare drum by hitting S. So here we go. So. That's basically the sound I wanted, but now let's do some EQing. So I'll just go here where it says EQ and filters. As you can see here, there's lots and lots of different effects we can use. Just click the equalizer, turn on the analyzer, and let's play that loop again with the snare drum soloed and start EQing. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. I might need to turn the volume down, but now let's hear that whole beat again, what we just made. And 
that's basically what I wanted. You can do this with any of the other drums also. So I might think, hey, uh, let's make my hi-hat a little bit tighter. I can do the exact same thing I did before and just tighten it up like this. And because there's so many slots available, you can use multiple hi-hats. So I might think I want one tight hi-hat, but I want another one that is a little bit you know, looser. I can do that. So by clicking plus here, I can add any of these other drums. And although these are you know, labeled as bass drum one, bass drum two, snare drum, you can put any sample you want on there. So there's plenty of variation. And as you see in the library, there's lots of different samples available for you. So that's it for today. That's how you come up with a basic rhythm starting with Rhythm Generator, and then you can do further editing with the Rhythm Generator, and then you can edit the sounds and your drum kit using the Drum Set Editor. And from there, just like I showed in the previous video, you can use the Song Editor or the MIDI Command method to actually arrange your song. But I hope that gives you some ideas. If you have any questions, leave them below, and in the future I'll try to do some other videos, but this I just wanted to have as a basic walkthrough of how you can make your own beats with M Drummer. So, hope that helped, and until next time, see you.